What's up guys, Domo here, and today I'm bringing you my Countess 1-2 Gone build because you're just going to be using one or two abilities and you're just going to be deleting people and they're gone. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. Um, for the affinities, I use Knowledge and Death. You'll see why in a second. Um, for Gems, I put one into Vitality. That's Quick Exit, so when you're um, when you back or when you're leaving base, you can get back to your lane faster or rotate to another lane faster. It helps out a lot. I like this one a little bit more than Healing Towers because Healing Towers kind of doesn't really help you anymore after the early game. Um, Auto Mana Potion is an Intellect. I use this because early game, your abilities could drain your mana pretty heavily. You know, you don't want to lose mana because then you're kind of vulnerable and you can't really help if like your jungle comes to your lane to try to gank you. Um, so you want to make sure you have this so you can get some mana so if they do come and gank you can still like um, use your uh, teleport ability to slow an enemy so you know you can probably get that kill early game. <clears throat> the next is daily mana killing an enemy minion increases your max mana by two so this helps you get a bigger mana pool and with a bigger mana pool you can use more abilities without running out of mana so this is good. Um, spell burn abilities deal damage equal to 2% of enemies current health over 3 seconds so this just helps you you know uh, burn down and delete enemy heroes a little bit faster it's really good um, reactive spells reduce cooldowns by 0.1 second when receiving ability damage so whenever you're taking damage your cooldowns getting a little bit shorter so this helps out plus you get 60 health why not uh, amplify aura nearby enemy units take 10% increased ability damage now this this helps you a lot so that extra 10 percent is going to help you out a little bit plus you get 35 mana and six ability armor what's wrong with that what's wrong with that all right so for the cards early game depending on how it's going how you want to play starting off like you can even get fond of experience so you know you gain four experience every 10 seconds this helps out a lot early game um hmm. you can get this card right here, Call of the Week. So you put one point into agility and your basic attack execute enemy minions below 20% max health. So this can help you farm up a little bit easier in lane. So um, what I do is I start off with Font of Experience and I put points into uh, Intellect. And when I get uh, about four points or whatever, I get this card right here. 12 plus 12 ability armor penetration so by that time I'll have my ultimate in early game I could just dark tide and ult and like a couple basic attacks if not that doesn't kill them then I just teleport to them and they'll kill whoever I'm leaning against um then like I start saving up for this card right here shadow dancer you get 14 power and 24 basic armor into the shadow plane in game Plus 50 movement speed for 15 seconds. Attacking an enemy from the shadow plane applies a 400 movement slow, movement speed slow for one second. So this is going to help you out a lot when you're just like, say if you see the ADC in their lane by themselves. This is when you're going to start, you know, feeding, like feeding on the enemy's squishiest hero. So like, say if it's like the ADC, or say if they got a really bad off lane that constantly dies. If you see them by your their selves and you want to get some um, farming by feeding off of the enemy is squishy here squishiest hero so you want to use this card so you can get to their lane delete them without them knowing you're there and then you know just go to another lane or you know uh, set that lane and rotate to another lane um, then you want to get there it is sleeper agent Gag order. Silence target enemy for three seconds. The target takes 15% increased damage. And you get 14 power and 140 mana. Now this card is really good. So say if you're going up to gank a, a Grim. So any hero like a Chimera or anybody, any cast or anything, like you don't want to just go up at a Grim because if it's a good Grim, they're going to wait for the perfect moment. So we like say if you're a Chimera, you're going to pounce the ult or a Countess, you're going to Dark Tide or try to ult them. They'll wait just before you do it and activate their uh, shield ability where they take zero damage from that ability that you just used. 
and then your ability won't do no damage to them and then they could practically they might be able to get away if they uh time they knock back right but if you use this on them it silences them so they can't do it, they can't use any of their abilities for three seconds so and they take 15 percent increased damage so with this say if you combine this with uh the shadow dancer so you're rock you, you activate shadow dancer you're going up to them you sleeper agent them and while they're sleeper agent you even ult or you dark tide and they're they're fucking gone they're just gone um let's see here then the last card that i use is black ice routine you get 17 power 250 health 240 health 15 mana deal 250 ability damage to nearby enemies and apply a 250 movement speed slow for three seconds so this is going to help out like if you're chasing somebody down and they're low you can just like use this if this doesn't kill them you still slow them so you can get to them faster and finish them off or you can use like you combine these two like these like this the shadow dancer goes well with this card and the sleeper agent so like those are going to be your three cards that you want to use in game and then this card power tap right here whenever you got 4,000 um, gold just sitting there and you're not spending it on anything you could permanently increase your power by 15 so you just like take off like what sleeper agent or shadow dancer or black ice routine and you just put this on activate it and then put that card right back on and then you permanently increase your power but um, that's it for my video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys like this like the build if you do be sure to give it a thumbs up I'm going to show a couple clips of my uh, one of my games where I was just like you know running around deleting the enemy uh, heroes and stuff um, um, I'll see you guys in my next video if you got any heroes you want me to um, work on next uh, get a build out for you guys uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys later peace